All right then guys, welcome to another video. It's been a minute. I have some uh, updates for you. So basically I'm out of China as of now and me and my wife, we bought a house in Italy. So as you can see from my outfit, I'm not really going to cook for you today. I would rather show you the, uh, the house that we bought. So we are in the renovation stage. Basically today is day one. Yesterday was day zero or yesterday night because uh, I spent most of the night here just cleaning things up and uh, preparing things so we can start painting and you know fixing things that we need to so I'm gonna give you a house tour today and then at the end of the video I will tell you what sort of plans we have for this house and how we're gonna renovate it basically okay there you go so we're gonna go down this alleyway and this is the house on the right uh, ignore the mess like I said we are we're cleaning up at the moment so this part of the house is still very dirty, so this is basically like the, uh, the landing. Let me change it to 05, the camera, so you can see more. It's a wide angle then. So there you go. Uh, this is like a landing kind of thing that leads to the second floor. And then underneath the, the stairs, there's like uh, a storage area. This needs to be cleaned up as well and painted again. And then we get to the living room. As you can see, this trash there. Uh, that that pile of trash and that picture used to be up on the wall. It used to cover up that one, but I took that off last night. This is gonna be like a dining area, living area, and then over here is gonna be like a little personal office space for me. And then over here, we have the kitchen. This is gonna get remodeled completely. So whatever you see here is gonna get thrown out completely. There's also a working fireplace. Uh, we might or might not keep this one. Um, this one needs a bit of a touch up as well. We're we gonna move over to the first bedroom, which is down this way. So over here, this is the first bedroom. Uh, I was working here mostly yesterday, uh, fixing this wall with some plaster. As you can see over here, for example, I had to fix this one. Uh, there was a floating shelf here that, uh, that I had to take, take off and it left massive holes in the wall. So I was doing that last night. And over here as well, you can see there was a big crack um, that I need to finish up as well because it goes up pretty high and I didn't have a ladder last night. This bunk bed is actually gonna stay because the previous owner uh, gave us a good deal on it. Over here as well, there was another giant crack that was going all the way up to the top. Um, so I fixed that as well with some plaster. And then over here, uh, this corner has a crack in it. So today's job is gonna be that, fixing that, and then uh, get this room ready for, uh, for painting. Floors are not too bad. Uh, we might keep this one and, uh, you know, just put some, uh, put some carpet and uh, rugs around. So that's what we might do with this one. And then on the left side, so it's almost an ensuite, uh, there's a bathroom here. Uh, we are going to uh, paint the tiles. We're not gonna change the tiles, we're just gonna paint them and we're gonna give it a neutral kind of color. This thing needs to be changed. That bidet that you see down there, that needs to be thrown out because it's leaking. The toilet's gonna get changed and then this tub we might or might not keep it depends how we're looking with the budget okay so there you go so that's the ground floor and then we're gonna go upstairs quickly gonna lock this door no, that's locked and that's locked as well apparently i left it open last night Okay, so let's go upstairs. So this is the landing for upstairs. On the left side, we have one room. Obviously this needs to be renovated completely, except the floors. The floors are in really good condition. So this one needs, needs some plaster in the corner there. Up there as well, where there are some nails. Yeah, obviously you need to put in a, a decent light. And I uh, need to do the ceiling as well, because as you can see, it's pretty rough. So this one needs to be plastered and then sanded down. And then over here, we have the third bedroom. So this one, same thing. This one needs to be renovated completely. Floors are not too bad, but we might cover it up with some uh, laminated floors. And over here, another kind of landing and another bathroom here. This one needs to be remodeled as well. 
or at least renovated to some usable extent. There's a shower here as well. And then out here we have a balcony. This is very nice. Uh, obviously most of the trash is already gone now. That's good. Some of these things are still uh, the previous owners. So he's gonna take care of this. And he's basically gonna get rid of uh, all these things, uh, which is very nice. Up there, that doesn't belong to us. That's, that's a different owner. So this this floor completely, and even this, um, this kind of roof thing that you see on, on top of this building is actually ours. But uh, if we want to build anything up there, we need to ask for planning permission. And also there is a giant window up there, there that belongs to the, uh, the neighbor. So we need to get approval from them as well if we want to do anything up here. Probably gonna leave it like that for now and uh, just gonna focus on uh, on this area here because this balcony is is actually huge like it's it's very 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 big so we can probably put like a barbecue here you know a couple of seats down here flowers and plants and whatever on the side so yeah this is uh this is going to be great um, uh, another thing that we're gonna do here with the with the floor itself is uh we're gonna cover it up because i don't really like this uh this concrete look so we might get some uh, fake grass uh, like astroturf or something like that cover it up so it's a bit more uh, a bit more green a bit more uh, nature like okay let's go outside let me show you the garage because we have a garage as well So this over here is like uh, another storage room, as you can see. Uh, it goes pretty deep because the boiler is down there. So this is gonna be a good, uh, good size storage room. And uh, we're gonna put, I don't know if there's any light here. Yes, they do. There you go. So this is a, this is a really good size uh, storage room. So we're gonna put some shelves in here and things like that. And uh, we can keep like tools and that sort of stuff here. Once we put a lock on this door, all right, moving on to the garage. And there's a small issue with the garage, especially with this door. Uh, this door is actually broken. Uh, it came off the hinges because uh, it was welded together like this and uh, the welding let go on this side. Uh, let's see if we can get in. Because I do have a key, but uh, this door likes to get jammed sometimes. There you go. Okay, here we go. So, some storage and space on the right side. So here as well, we can uh, we can put some shelves and you know winter storage or whatever. Uh, this is a gift from the pe previous owner for my son. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, the garage here. There you go. You can see it's a it's a massive space. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use this to do something very uh, very interesting. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this space in a second. All right then, so that's the house tour and I want to finish it right here in this garage because this is gonna be kind of my new office in, uh, in a couple of months. So I want you to imagine that the camera is here, somewhere here, and this is gonna be a studio kitchen. That's what I'm gonna do here. So the channel is gonna have its own dedicated studio, basically. So this is where I'm gonna be doing 90% of the cooking for the channel. Obviously there's gonna be new stuff coming as well, but it's gonna take some time. So a couple of months, uh, first we need to fix the, the upstairs area, uh, make it livable. We're gonna move in here fairly soon. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do this area as well. It's, it's a very good size, a good starting point for a cooking channel that I have in mind. Also, I've managed to hire somebody to help me edit these videos. So this video is actually edited as well by someone else. So I'm not doing anything with this one. I'm just doing the recording basically, which, uh, which takes off you know, a lot of pressure. They help helps me to, to focus on the house and the planning and the building and, and whatnot. So I'm very happy about that. This area is gonna be my studio kitchen. We have everything down here, electricity, water. I think we can bring the gas down here as well, which is actually very good. If we can't bring the gas down, then we're just gonna use like uh, bottled gas or, uh, or something like that. But water and electricity definitely down here. So we don't really need much more to, to turn this into a studio kitchen. Probably not gonna use the whole area, just this 
around here from this bench to where I'm standing, kind of a rectangle. Then the space behind me and the door, this is gonna be empty and we can still use it for other things if you want to park like a motorbike or, or something like that. Over there, we're gonna put a big chest freezer. There's already a sink here. The water outlet is over there as well. Just need to put the tap on and then switch the water on. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a really nice space. The ceiling is not too high actually, which is something that I like. It makes painting and renovating easier as well especially when I want to scrape this uh, this thing off from the ceiling because I don't really like the look of it. There's like a big space there as well. I thought that this was a fireplace and it was connected to the chimney, but it's actually not. It's, it's just something there. So I'm going to put some shelves in here. I'm going to plaster it, paint it, throw some holes, put a couple of shelves up there. And uh, roughly where I'm standing right now, there's going to be a huge kitchen island. So the camera is going to be on that side. And then, like I said earlier, it's going to film like this, basically. So you will be seeing me standing over there and talking about everything cooking. So there you go. That is it for today's video. It's something completely different to what I used to do. Very different from cooking, very different from Chinese uh, content. But here we are. So next chapter in our life and in the channel's life is in Italy. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.